This is Dr. Robert Pears, a Melbourne, uh, a Melbourne uh, general practitioner in, um, in, in Australia, and I've, I've got some information for people who may be looking for ways of treating or preventing depression. Depression rates have probably risen in the last hundred years. Dr. Myrna Weissman's produced good evidence that in Western societies anyway, uh, uh, in, and increasingly in developing countries where the, the diet's becoming fattier, we're seeing more depression. Now I've got a suggestion as to what really causes this, and I've got a new treatment as well. Uh, I would refer uh, viewers to my anxiety clip on YouTube for more details on the anxiety, which is probably the basis of the depression. My theory is that an anxious person who comes from a pregnancy where the mother's eaten too much saturated fat, that's one in four Westerners, that this anxious person, if they eat a fatty diet themselves when they're 15 or 25 or whatever, is likely to get oxidised, inflamed brain and stop, not, no longer just be anxious, they'll be anxious and depressed. I've seen this many times in my general practice where I put depressed patients on a low fat diet after first asking if they are eating too much cheese and chocolate and so forth, which they usually do, and I find that within two, three weeks they, they're just not depressed anymore, but they will say they're still anxious, and so we have to treat the anxiety as well, which requires perhaps a supplement. Uh, so, uh, so depression rates appear to be quite high around the world, and the World Health Organization has predicted that depression will become a major uh, disorder, uh, rivaling heart disease or cancer or diabetes uh, uh, in coming years. So I think that uh, it's all involved in the same thing here. The, the fatty diets which convert anxiety to depression also cause heart disease and raise blood pressure and cancer and diabetes. It's all one big disease because the brain's part of the body. It's a physical object and it's affected by the oxidation and the inflammation the same as your heart is or your muscles so you get tired on this diet. So the treatment for depression would be to uh, be very, very careful with the saturated fats. That's the butter, the cream, the cheese, the chocolate, the cakes and pastries and the fatty meats and salami and mortadella. Very, very minimal quantities. Somehow you've got to reduce that. You can then balance that saturated fat that you still might eat in some cheese with the good oily guys. We want some essential fatty acids here. They're called polyunsaturated. Omega-3 is your fish. Omega-6 essential fatty acids is margarine, olive oil, nuts and avocado. Only use olive oil. Don't use refined vegetable oils. They're low in vitamin E. They cause Alzheimer's. You'll get a bad memory and you'll be sensitive to bright light and your depression won't go away. Only use olive oil or cold pressed sunflower oil from a health food shop. So the good oily guys to balance the fat over here in the chocolate and the cheese or the sausage uh, once again, f omega-3 fatty acids from fish. They're antioxidant in the brain. They're good. And we want omega-6 from margarine, olive oil, nuts, are very oily, and avocado. So we've got a low-fat, slightly oily diet, and then we add some grains and legumes for the uh, specifically for the inositol sugar in them, in those foods, which is found not only in the corn and oats and nuts and beans, but also rock melon and citrus fruits. So this is the anti-anxiety sugar, which I've mentioned, which I describe at greater length in my anxiety clip on YouTube. Putting these together, we've got a very simple thing, treatment here for depression, which uh, uh, means you don't need any antidepressant drugs. They actually work by increasing inositol in your brain. Why not just take the inositol? We already make some of it in our own body from glucose. It's natural to the body. Prozac's not. Forget about it. Uh, and, and so you'll get a good result if you're depressed. If you, if you know you've got anxiety underneath your depression, there's an, a shyness in childhood and you're a bit of a worrier and you worry about little things, you're, you've got anxiety disorder. And there's a, that is about one in four Westerners. It might be one in three people in England or one in three people in America. I think it's one in five in Canada. as It's 30% of New Zealanders. It's a lot of people out there. So about half of those are just anxious, the other half are depressed because they're doing the wrong thing. The anxiety is making them comfort eat the chocolate or eating too many cakes and pastries which are rich in bakery fat. So we've got some fundamental new things to say here. A low fat diet plus inositol supplement 5 grams a day or if you can't find it, lots of corn, oats, muesli, beans, nuts, rock melon and citrus fruits, orange juice even and you've got a simple treatment for depression. Uh, and uh, it works in my patients. Uh, there's, there, there's another type of depression which is less common, which is perhaps not so severe, and that's people with adult ADD often feel a bit depressed, but it doesn't seem to bother them much. 
uh, nothing much bothers them. So uh, that's the uh, story on depression so far. There may be more news coming in the future. But the big challenge is to get the fat out of the diet because it oxidizes and inflames the brain. That has been shown in Wyoming, in America, in rats. It quite clearly inflames the brain. And we know that the inflammation promotes increased stress and brings on the depression. So we've got to get the fat out of the diet. That's the hard part for you to do. You'll find if you're on inositol and take about five grams a day of this powder it's extracted out of rice, it will help you lose your crack cravings for the fatty foods like chocolate or maybe cheese, usually it's the sweet things which are also fatty. I'm not scared of the sugar, it's the fat because it inflames your brain. So that's the story on depression uh, uh, up to this date and there may be more later but if you can just do those simple things you must try to find some inositol powder. You probably need five grams a day. It's only 50 cents a day but you have to find it and the low fat diet and that's it for now.